Hello guys, you're welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about uh, a physics practical, especially for those that are taking the Hongo in Wahek, that is the West African student. Now, we have three sections to answer, and that is the mechanics part, the haptic part, and the electricity part. But today, we are looking at the number one question, that is the mechanics question. Now, let's look at the board and see how we can go about the practical successfully. Okay? Without assistance, this is the question of the board. We are told that you are provided with a thread. Here is a thread, like you can see. Okay? Meter rule, and here is our meter rule. Okay. Masses. Here we have our masses here. Okay? Of different values, yes. We have one of 10 gram here, we have one of 20 gram, we have one of 50 gram. Okay, retort stand here is retort stand and clamp. So, this is the clamp of the retort stand. Okay, use the diagram below as a guide for the experiment. So, we are already given a diagram to serve as our guide. So, whenever you set your apparatus. If you want to know that you are right or wrong, you check the diagram given to you. Now, this is the diagram now. Now, let's see how to go about the experiment. Roman figure 1. We are told that support the meter rule provided in a loop of thread and hang it on the clamp of a retard stand. Okay? We are told that this is the meter rule given. Then we should what? Support this meter rule with a loop of thread. Now, here is a loop of thread. I already create a loop. You can see the hole there. That's the loop. So I'm going to support this meter rule with the loop. That is, I'm going to put it inside it like this. And the question says we should do what? Adjust it until it balances horizontally. So I need to, you can see it's not balanced now. So I need to adjust it until it balances horizontally. So I'm trying to get the balancing point. You can see it's not yet balanced. Okay, let's see. What if I adjust it back a bit like this? Okay, you can see now that the meter will now balance and the balancing point is, okay, here is my zero point. So I have the meter rule to balance. Okay, it's not balanced like that. Okay, we have to wait until it balances. So it's not balanced. We need to adjust it again. Okay, okay. Now it's balanced horizontally now. So the balancing point G, I think. Okay, the person says read and record the balance point G. Keep it at the point throughout the experiment. So, there is need for me now to take down the record of the balance point. Okay? So, let's play this. As we know on the link this game. So, the first thing, you take down the value of your G. So, my own G here is 550. 0.2 centimeter. So it shows that this balance center of gravity, that is the meter rule, the center of gravity of this meter rule is 50.2 centimeter. And as a matter of fact, the measuring accuracy of it is also what 0.2 plus or minus. So if it is not less than, then it's going to be what greater than that is if your what center of gravity falls within the range of 50.1 you are there 50.2 you are there or you have it around 48.0 you are there if you have it around 49.0 sorry you are not there yet. if you have 48.0 sorry this is if i have something like let's say 49.8 are you there so if i have 49.8 i'm still up i'm there if i have 49.9 I'm there. I get this now. So it's just a plus or minus 0 0.2. So, and our home is at the peak. That's 50.2 centimeters. So that's our center of uh, gravity. So I like it's better we put it into the decimal place. So I have this. Do we get this now? 
So what's the next question then? The next question now says, suspend a mass Mx at a point 30 centimeter from zero. Okay? Let this be my word, mass Mx. I already know the value of this mass to be 50 gram. So I'm going to suspend it now at a point 30 centimeter mark. Okay? So here is my zero point here. So I have to look at 30 centimeter mark and leave it there. So you see, immediately I drop it there, the ruler is no longer balanced. Okay, let's see what we have to do next. You can see it's not balanced any longer. So let's see, the third thing else is what? Okay, we've done this, right? Okay, let's go to the fourth one. It says on the other side of G, that is this side now, suspend the mass M equal what? 30 gram. That is, I should suspend a 30 gram mass to the other side. So this is 20 gram. Okay, let's drop this first. And this is so uh, 10 gram. Okay, here is 10 gram and this 20. So making 30 that we are asked to hang. So pay maximum attention and see the way we follow the instruction one after the other. So I meant to suspend it at the other side of G. Remember, G must be at the same point. So this one will be at 30 centimeter mark, like it is like that. So I have to keep adjusting this until it balances horizontally again. So you can see it's not balanced. So let me adjust it again. If it's going to balance. So it's, it's not balanced any longer. It shows that the force now is greater at this end. So let me move it backward. I send it now. So you can see. We are getting to the balancing point, though it's just to balance, the force is still greater here, so let's shift it backward a bit again. Okay, and if you look at it now, you now see that it's like the force is getting greater at this end. Okay, and we are asked to fix this one point, so let's shift this one forward a bit. Okay, I already adjusted forward a bit now. Okay, you can see now that the meter rule is balanced horizontally now. So what do they ask us to do after it's balanced horizontally? So the first is adjust the position until the rule sets you down horizontally. So it has set you down horizontally like this. So what is the next thing? The next thing is what? Read and record the position R and what? M. So our M is 30. Our M is 30 gram. And the position R, that is the point at which this gets balanced. If you raise, this is from what? Zero down to this point. So we are at 85.5. So it balanced at 85.50 centimeter. Are we there? Okay. What's the next thing you ask us to do? So let's come down here. Roman figure what? Six now. Read and record the distance D between G and R. This is our G, and this is what? This is R. Are we together? Okay? If this is 50.2, and this is what? This is uh, 85.5. So, for us to get the distance between them, we just see the distance D is 85.5 minus 50.2. So, whatever the result looks like is going to be our D when we use mass of what 30 gram okay let someone get those calculators so that we can do this faster okay let's go to the next one i think this should give us if i have 85.5 and i have 50.2 zero so this should be zero this is three and this will be five this should give us five so our d is 35.30 centimeter are we together Okay, what's the next thing to do, guys? Okay, the next question now says, also read and record the distance between what? The distance A between P and G. Distance A is what? Between P and G. Okay, from 0 to this place is 30. 30 centimeter. That is, from 0 to P. 
from 0 to P is 30 centimeter and uh, from 0 to this place is 52 so for us to get the value for A we sell 50.20 minus the 30 centimeter are we together? hence this will give us 20.20 centimeter I we seen the way we determine the value for B and the value for A Okay, let's continue with what the question states again. The question says, repeat the procedure for four other values of M. That is, we are to repeat the procedure for four other values. It means we are going to have our serial number to range from 1 to 5. So we've done the first one now. So we want to do the second one now. And for the second one, our mass is going to be what? 40. For the third one, our mass is going to be what? 50. For the fourth one, is going to be 16. And the fifth one is going to be 70. With MS kept in the same position. That is, our MX will remain at this 30 centimeter mark. It's a constant, just like our G is also what? A constant. Hence, what the answer to do next is evaluate what? The inverse in each case. That is, for every case that you determine the value of D, you must determine what the inverse of it. So, for the case 1 now, D inverse is going to be 1 all over 35.30. Okay, for accuracy, let me get my calculator while we continue. Okay, now I'm with my calculator now. So, I can do 1 divided by 1 divided by 35.3. So, my result is going to be 0 0.0283. Okay, guys, because I'm using calculator to get this value, I would like you to leave your answer in three significant figure. Are we together? Three significant figure. And that's why you see this to be what? 283. And those are the significant figure there. Please note that. This would be in centimeter inverse. Do we get that now? Okay, so let us now determine what it asks us to do. That is when it is 40. Remember, this is 30, so I'm going to increase it by 10 gram again to make it 40. And you see what will happen immediately I do that. So, you see now that the mass is no longer balanced because now the force is still to be greater at this end. Hence, I need to adjust the position. So, I have to adjust it until it balances again. Okay, it's not yet balanced. Okay, not still balanced. It shows that it's still greater here. So if it is greater here, I need to move inward. Okay, so as I move inward, it's getting there. We are getting there. Remember, this has to remain at 30 centimeters. It must not leave that position. So Okay, it seems it's greater here now, so let's move backward a bit. So if I move backward a bit to 77, it seems balanced like this. Let's watch. Okay, not yet, not yet. Let's wait. So this will, back, this will be part of our precaution. Let's exercise patient until it balances finally. Wow. Okay, you can see now that it balanced horizontally again. And at what point? How now is at 76.5? Okay? Okay, I think we got this now and clean this. So for the second reading, I have that my where my M, that is the mass is 40 gram, I have my R to be 76.5 centimeter. Are we together? So what would be my value for D? My value for D is going to be 76.5 cm minus 50.2 cm. So, what will this give us? Okay, let's check. 76.5 minus 50.2. So, I'm going to have this to be 26.30 cm. Okay, what's next thing I need to do here? There's need for me to look for my D inverse. So my D inverse is going to be 1 divided by 26.30. Okay, so this gives me 0 0.0380. Always remember to put your 
value to be in three significant uh, figure. So this will also be in centimeter inverse. Okay, there's no need to determine the value of A again because A is said to remain constant till the end of the experiment. Okay, let's continue. We are to increase the mass now to 50 grams. So this is already 40. So if I add 10 grams again, it's going to become what? 50. So by the time I do that, see, it's no longer balanced. Hence, there's need for me to adjust it again. Okay, sorry. Okay, can I just add 20 to this? It's still the same thing. So 20 plus 20 plus 10, that's 50. It's no longer balanced. So there's need for me to adjust. Okay. It's not balanced yet. The force is greater at this end now. Okay, let's shift it back one bit. Okay, it's not balanced. Okay. Is it balanced like this? No. Okay, what about like this? Okay. It's not still balanced. Okay, let's adjust it a bit. Okay, this is balanced horizontally again. And uh, I have this to be at 71.5. Okay, so when my mass is 50 gram, I have my R to be 71.5 centimeter. So my D is just going to be what? It's going to be 71.5 minus 50.2. So my result is going to be 71.5 minus 50.2. And that will give me 21.3. So this is 21.3 centimeter. Are we together? Okay, so let's go for the next one. That is, we are to increase it now to 60. Okay, there's need for me to clear this. Okay, okay. Yes. We need to look for the inverse of this also. So the inverse of this is going to be 1 all over 21.3. So 1 divided by 21.3. So we have 0 0.0469 in centimeter inverse. Okay, so let's increase the mass now to 60. So we had 10 gram more. So this becomes 60, okay? So it's no longer balanced, so let's adjust it until it's balanced again. Okay, it's not balanced also. Okay, I think it's greater at this end now. Okay, and I think like this, it's not still balanced yet. Okay, let's wait for it to balance. The force is greater at this end, so let's adjust it. Okay, it's still greater at this end. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have this now to balance at uh, 67.5. So our mass M, when it is uh, 60 gram, we have our heart to balance at uh, 67.50 centimeter. Then our D is going to be 67.50 minus 50.20. So this will give us 67.5 minus 50.2. So this give us 17.3. So this is 17.30 centimeter. So let's look for the D inverse at the same time. So we have a one divided by 17.3 so our result is going to be 0 0.0578 okay in centimeter inverse okay let's go for the last one when m is 70 so let's just add 10 gram to this again so it's no longer balance normal as usual so we have to adjust until it balance again okay it's no longer balance Okay, is it balanced like this? No, the force is greater at this end, so we need to adjust it backward. Okay, 
Is it balanced like this? Is it balanced? Let's see. Wait. So you have to close the window to avoid what draft. So, okay, that is 65.5. So when the mass is 70 gram, we have our arm to be at 65.5. Zero centimeter. So our D is going to be 65.50 centimeter minus 50.20 centimeter. And what will be our value? 65.5 minus 50.2. Okay, our value is 15.3. 15.30 centimeter. So our D inverse is what we are looking for now. So, 1 divided by our D inverse is going to be 0 0.0654 in centimeter inverse. Okay? What's the next thing you ask us to do? Tabulate your reading. Okay? Here is where students lose a lot of math and this is where your math lies. How can we then tabulate our reading now? Let's see how we can go about that. Okay? Let me clean up this. Okay. So our table with us like this. So here is our serial number one, two, three, four, five. And here is going to be for mass in gram. So please make sure you put your units. We are Ma we have mass in gram. Our mass start from 30 gram. So you put this as 30.0 because this value is given from the question. So it can be in one decimal place. Then the next one is 40. That's 40.0, 50.0, 60.0, and 70.0. Are we together, guys? Okay. If we are together, the next thing we need to record is the value of our R. So, you have to note our half is in centimeter, very important. Now, because we are the one that determined this value of R, we have to put it in two decimal places. Kindly note that. So, our first R is 85.50, and uh, the second one is 76.50, and uh, the next one is 71.50. And the next one is what, guys? Okay, I believe you are with me. This is 67.50. And the fifth one is going to be uh, 65.50. Okay, what's the next thing that will be on our table? That's our D. It's also in centimeter. Okay, it's going to be in two decimal places also because we are the one that determine it ourselves. So we are going to have our first D to be 35.30. Our second D is going to be 26.30. And our fifth D is going to be 21.30. And the last of the fourth D is going to be 17.30. And the last one is going to be 15.30. Okay, the next thing now is our D inverse. So, our D inverse is going to be in centimeter inverse. So, this one, because we are getting it with calculator, then we are going to put it in three significant figures. Some we say you should put it in three decimal places, but we we'll advise you to put it in three significant figures better. Okay, our D inverse, the first one is 0.0. .0 283. Then the second one is going to be 0 0.0380. And the next one is going to be 0 0.06. Okay, sorry. This is 0.469. Now the next one is going to be 0 0.0578. And the next one is going to be 0. 0.0. 654. Here is our table. You can see, but we are not done. Remember that there are some constants that we measure, like our G. 
That constant needs to be at the top of our table. Our G is going to be what? 50.20 centimeter. So, and the, our P, our P is going to be 30.00 centimeter. And our A, the value of our A that we determine in the first place is 20.20. 20.20 centimeter. Are you guys seeing it now? You can see that the whole of the constant in the experiment they appear at the top corner of the table. Why? Every other thing that has to do with the experiment they appear in the table. And if you look at my table, I never clean or run anything there. That is how your table should look because when you want, when you clean. Or you shape something like this, let's say your, 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 you paint like this, it is what a subtracted mark from what you did. And remember, your table takes the highest mark aside from your graph. Are we together? Now, what is the next thing they ask us to do in this experiment? We are asked to plot the graph of what? M against uh, D inverse. Okay, guys, if you look at this, if I plot the graph of M against what? D inverse, my results I'm going to have will be, that is if I determine my slope, which we are going to do together now, if I determine my slope, my slope is going to be what? It's going to be in gram centimeter. And when you look at it and you ask yourself that what is moment, moment is the product of force and perpendicular distance. Now, the force we are applying to this meter rule are the mass. And the perpendicular distance are what we measure in centimeter. Okay? You can see now that this experiment is trying to verify what moment. Hence, you should understand what you are doing. Hence, let's go and see how we can plot our graph. But before we go there, remember, the answer to evaluate the value for k equal s over mx. Now, what is my mx? This is my mx. I told you before I started the experiment. My mx is also part of the constant, so the value is 50.00 gram. So that's my mx. So when we plot the graph finish, we are going to calculate this and state what the two precautions that we have to state. Is that okay? So join me plot the graph now. So we have to plot the graph now, like I said. So for those of you that still find it difficult to plot graph, you can learn from this and you can check my video on how to plot graph. You find the link in the description box below. Okay, now let's plot. We are asked to plot the graph of what? M against what? Against D inverse. Okay? Number one thing that you need to do is to get to a page where you have your table. So, under your table, okay, let me put it here so that you get what I'm saying better. Under your table, as a YX student, you answer the Roman figure that the question falls to. I think it's Roman figure 9. So, you put it there, the title, the title of your graph. Title of graph. Very important. And what is the title of your graph? Graph of graph of M against against the inverse. This is the title of the graph. It means we are plotting what M on the vertical axis and D inverse on the horizontal axis. Do you get that now? Okay, so like I explained to you when I was teaching you how to plot graph, you can check the video on the link below, like I said earlier. M that is being on the vertical axis, we need to check what is the maximum value and what is the minimum value. The maximum value is 30 and the minimum is what? 70. And for D inverse, the maximum value is 0 0.654 and the minimum is 0 0.0283. Okay, so let's come back to our graph now. Okay, if you look at this now, I will count first one, two, three, so that my graph can occupy two third of my graph paper. Although the standard for YX is that at least it should occupy one third of your graph paper. So for standard graph, let it occupy two third. So I'll count here one, two, three. 
So maximum value at the vertical axis, remember, is 70 and the minimum is 30. So let me choose my convenience scale. Convenience scales start from 5, 10. So convenience scale rather start from 2, 5, 10, 20, uh, and so on. Okay, 20 is not convenient though, 50, 100, and so on like that. Those are the convenient scales. So scales like 3, 4, 5, three four okay seven eight nine it's not what it's not convenient so if you use such you'll be penalized so let's try two two will not even work we already see it let's try five so five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five it's not up to seventy let's try ten ten twenty thirty 40, 50, 60, 70. So we can pick immediate point, 80. Although, hence, we can draw our horizontal line here. Remember, you must use a long ruler. But because I used long ruler in the previous video, I'm using short ruler now. So that you see how to manage your short ruler. Don't plot with biro. Plot with pencil. So that you can see it clearly. That's why I'm plotting with biro. Don't plot with biro. So, I'm going to draw my horizontal line now. So if you look at it, I didn't get to the end before I shift my ruler so that I'm going to avoid a broken line. So I'll come down to my table and I'm going to write scale, the scale of the graph, two centimeter represents, you write it fully, represents 10 units on Vertical axis. How that? There? There's nothing like y axis in physics. It's either like you write what m axis or you write what vertical axis. Note that. Okay? Let's determine that of the horizontal axis now. So I will count first one, two now. So you can see I count one, two first. I know that my maximum is 0. Uh, 0 0.0654 and the minimum is 0 0.028. So Let's see, if I choose 0 0.01 as a scale, will this contain it? 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07. So we can use 0 0.01, okay? So I'll rule my line like this. So I'll pause there first. So this, you can see, nobody can see that I stop at anywhere. That's the idea of using a short ruler. Is that taken? Okay, so I'll come down here and quickly write again. Two centimeter represents zero point zero one units on horizontal horizontal axis, or I say on the inverse axis. Is that taken? Okay. So the next thing now is to label my graph. So this place is going to be M in gram, make sure you put that, and this place is going to be D inverse, in centimeter inverse. Are we together? Okay, can we see this now? So your graph is a vector quantity, you show the direction. So we have to show the direction of our graph. Are we together? Okay, although, it's not really necessary because there's no penalty for it, but you have to be professional. Okay? So this is 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, and this is 0 0.07. Are we together? Okay? If that should be the case, this should become what? 10, and this should be 20, this should be 30, this should be 40, and this should be 50, this is 60, this is 70, and this is 80. The next thing now is to know the value for all these small, small lines. From here to this place is 2 centimeters, that's why we are saying 2 centimeters represent, and we have just 10 lines there. For you now to know the value of small, small line on this horizontal axis, the unit we are using on the horizontal axis is 0 0.01. So we say 0 0.01 divided by 10. So our result is going to be, 
okay, 0 0.01 divided by 10. So our result is going to be 0 0.001. So it means that every small, small point here represents what? 0 0.001. Then on this vertical axis, what will be our value? So we just say 10 divided by 10. So it means small, small line on the vertical axis represents what? 1. And on horizontal axis, they represent what? 0 0.001. Is that taken? Okay, let's start to plot the graph now. Okay, what's the first reading on the ball? If you look at it, when M is 30 gram, our D inverse is 0. 0283. Abi, let's see how we can plot the graph. How we can plot that here. This is 30 here. Okay, if this is 30, 0 0.0283. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we stop at 8, forget about the 3, we approximate. So this is what 30. So you plot this point here like this. It should be within this box. Are you seeing it? Okay. The next point is 40. When it is 40, it is 0 0.3, 0 0.038. You can see. So when it is 40, this is 0 0.3. We count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have this like this. So this is 40. I send this now. Okay. Guys. Okay. Let's go to the next one. When it is 50, it is 0 0.0469. Okay, so your approximate is going to be 0 0.047. So we are going to have that 50. This is 50 here. So we come down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is this, like this. So are you saying it now? You can see that there is no small, small dots to trace those points. I'm tracing it with my ruler. That is how it ought to be. Okay, let's go to the next one. When it is 60, then we have 0 0.0558 approximately. So when it is 60, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so this is 60. Okay. Okay. Okay, the next one is when it is 70, then we have 0 0.065. Okay, that's the last point. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, like this. So, to 70, we have this. So, it's like magic. I'm plotting my graph with a short ruler and it's getting perfect. I'm using viral. Come on, you can do better. Okay, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'll place my ruler to pass through the origin. Remember, the origin is part of your graph. Once your graph does not get to the origin, you'll be penalized for that. Be careful. Okay, if I place this here like this, okay, is it going to pick three points? Okay. The standard is to pick three points. Otherwise, you face what? The consequence by losing mark. Okay, I'm using short rule now. Okay, yes, I can do it. It pick this. Doesn't pick this. If it pick this, it's not going to pick this. Okay, let me adjust my ruler like this so that it pick this, pick this, and pick this. Okay, so I can rule. I have to stop here and draw my ruler down like this. So I have this. Can you see a perfect graph? Okay, just like I'm using a long ruler. So let's cut from with physics. So I circle this. Although some people would like to circle the ones that the line picked, but it's not compulsory. We can circle all because the circle is also part of the points that we use in picking our points. Okay, you can see that my line cut across the horizontal and the vertical. Be careful, make sure your graph is perfect. Okay, the slope now. I can pick my slope from anywhere. Make sure your slope is big and it's not that big and it should not be small also. So, but I like my slope to cover my points. So I like to pick it from here like this. So I can pick it anyhow and that's why we are not expected to have the same slope. So if your colleague is having slope that is different from yours, don't panic, okay? 
so I will have this to come down like this so here now can be a broken line because it's no longer part of the slope okay and here also can be a broken line like this okay now I have my slope. I like to put a FC in my own graph. It's not compulsory. If you do it, no penalty. If you don't do it, no mark. Are you getting it? If you don't do it, rather, no penalty. And if you do it, no mark. It only makes your graph look serious. Okay? So, this is the change in the mass. Are we there? So, I will have to do this here also. Okay? Let me trace this down. The dots here, yeah, let's trace it down. Pam, 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 like this. And uh, the line intersects this point here. Yeah. Pam, 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 like this. Okay. So this will be my change. And this will be my change. Can you see? Okay. I have this and I have this. So this will be my change in the inverse, like this. Okay. Now, let me calculate my slope. This will be my M1, and this will be my M2. This will be my D inverse 1, and this is my D inverse 2. Okay, let me quickly get their value. My M2 is 70. I want to calculate my slope, guys. So, my M2 is 70, and my M1 is 20. From the graph, you can see it from the graph I'm picking it. Then my D inverse 1, if you can't, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is D inverse 1 is 0 0.018. Then D inverse 2 is going to be, check the graph again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0 0.068. So my slope S is going to be changing M over change in D inverse. Hence, this is equal to M2 minus M1 over D inverse 2 minus D inverse 1. So this will give me, okay, M2 is 70 minus 20 divided by D inverse 2, 0 0.068 minus 0. 018. Okay, what would this give me? This will give me 50 divided by hmm, this will be 0 0.05 like this. Hence, if I take that 50 divided by 0 0.05, so my result is 1000 grams. 1,000, you know, remember the unit of this slope now, see this one is gram, and this one is centimeter inverse. So, this will become gram centimeter. And this shows that this is the moment. Is that okay? And that is our slope. So, what the next thing they ask us to calculate for? We are asked to evaluate that x equal what? k over what? Sorry, k equal what? S over MX. Hence, our K is going to be 1000 divided by 50. This and this will cancel. So, our K is going to be, what will this give us? 20. Have it? So, this is a 20 centimeter. Because, you remember, this one is in gram centimeter. This one is in gram. So, gram and gram will cancel. So the value for this is 20 centimeter. This is where we are going to end today's class. Thank you. I'm going to drop link to electricity video where you can also learn how to carry out your experiment on electricity while you wait for us to upload video on the optics. Have a nice day.